Breaking Trump's list has just gotten out. Obama is freaking out by Al Weisman for FreedomDaily.com. This is the best Christmas gift American patriots have ever gotten from any president. If you take some time to listen to the fake news mainstream media outlets, everything is in shambles and the world is coming to an end. But as most of us American patriots know fully well, the president has had an awesome first year of astonishing accomplishments. Accomplishments which we have been told by every prior president from both parties that it just couldn't be done. But most important, he has also been able to get rid of many of the social-leaning Obama accomplishments of the prior eight years. This is just a partial list of President Trump's major accomplishments in 2017. Jobs in the economy, passage of the tax reform bill, providing $5.5 billion in cuts and repealing the Obamacare mandate, increase the GDP above 3%, creation of 1.7 million new jobs, cutting unemployment to 4.1%, saw the Dow Jones reach record highs, killing job stifling regulations, signed an executive order demanding that two regulations be killed for every new one created. He beat that, uh, that big and cut 16 rules and regulations for everyone created, saving $8.1 billion, signed 15 congressional regulatory cuts, withdrew from the Obama-era Paris Climate Agreement, ending the threat of environmental regulations. Fair Trade made good on his campaign promise to withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, opened up the North American Free Trade Agreement, for talks to better the deal for the U.S., work to bring companies back to the U.S. and companies like Toyota, Mazda, Broadcom, Limited, and Foxconn announced plans to open U.S. plants, boosting U.S. energy dominance, expanded energy infrastructure projects like the Keystone XL pipeline snubbed by Obama, ordered the Environmental Protection Agency to kill Obama's clean power plan, EPA is reconsidering Obama rules on methane emissions, protecting the U.S. homeland, laid out new principles for reforming immigration, and announced plan to end chain migration, which lets one legal immigrant to bring in dozens of family members, made progress to build the border wall with Mexico, ended the Obama-era catch-and-release of illegal immigrants, boosted the arrests of illegals inside the U.S., started the end of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, helping veterans sign the Veterans Accountability and Whistleblower Protection Act to allow senior officials in the Department of Veterans Affairs to fire failing employees and establish safeguards to protect whistleblowers, signed the Veterans Appeal Improvement and Modernization Act, signed the Harry W. Colmery Veteran Educational Assistant Act to provide support, signed the VA Choice and Quality Employment Act of 2017 to authorize $2.1 billion in additional funds for the Veterans Choice Program. What a list. Now let's compare it to what former President Barack Hussein Obama accomplished. First president to apply for college aid as a foreign student, then deny he was a foreigner. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You know, either you're going to go crazy <laughs> you know, this is um, just just this, just this first line. I, I just can't comprehend how he managed to, you know, it's sad. That's why you have to laugh. 
getting back, first president to apply for college aid as a foreign student, then deny he was a foreigner. Just that alone. First president to have a social security number from a state he, was n he never lived in. First president to preside over a cut to the credit rating of the United States. First president to violate the War Powers Act. First president to be held in contempt of court for illegally obstructing oil drilling in the Gulf of Mexico. First president to require all Americans to purchase a product from a third party. First president to spend a trillion dollars on shovel-ready jobs when there was no such thing as shovel-ready jobs. Spend a trillion on that, huh? First president to abrogate bankruptcy law, to turn over control of companies to his union supporters. First president to bypass Congress and implement the DREAM Act through executive fiat. First president to order a secret amnesty program that stopped the deportation of illegal immigrants across the U.S., including those with criminal convictions. First president to demand a company hand over $20 billion to one of his political appointees. First president to tell a CEO of a major corporation, Chrysler, to resign. First president to terminate America's ability to put a man in space. First president to cancel the National Day of Prayer and to say that, Amer uh, that America is no longer a Christian nation. Wow. First president to have a law signed by an auto pen without being present. What? First president to arbitrarily declare an existing law unconstitutional and refuse to enforce it. First president to threaten insurance companies if they publicly spoke out, uh, spoke out on the reasons for their rate increase. Oh, wow. First president to tell major manufacturing companies in which state it is allowed to locate a factory. First president to file lawsuits against the states he swore an oath to protect. First president to withdraw an existing coal permit that had been properly issued years ago. First president to actively try to bankrupt an American industry coal. First president to fire an inspector general of AmeriCorps for catching one of his friends in a corruption case. First president to appoint 45 czars to replace elected officials in his office. First president to surround himself with radical left-wing anarchists. First president to golf more than 150 separate times in his five years in office. First president to hide his birth, medical, educational, and travel records. First president to win a Nobel Prize for doing nothing to earn it. Oh my God. First president to go on multiple global apology tours and concurrent insult our friends tours. First president to go over 17 lavish vacations in addition to date nights on Wednesday evening, White House parties for his friends paid for by the taxpayers. First president to have personal servants taxpayer funded for his wife. First president to keep a dog trainer on retainer for $102,000 a year at taxpayer's expense. First president to fly in a personal trainer from Chicago at least once a week at taxpayer's expense. First president to repeat the Holy Quran and tell us that early morning call of the Azan, Islamic call to worship, is the most beautiful sound on earth. I remember that. I remember that. Disgusting. First president to side with a foreign nation over one of the 
American 50 states, Mexico versus Arizona. First president to tell military men and women that they should pay for their own private insurance because they volunteered to go to war and knew the consequences. Then he was the first president to tell the member of the military that they were unpatriotic for balking at the last suggestion. Thank God he didn't get away with this one. The first president to allow Iran to inspect their own facil facilities. The first president to have blood on his hands from Benghazi to the assassinations of several police officers. The first president to trade five terrorists for a traitor. First president to facilitate the Iranians to acquire nuclear weapons. First president to light up the White House in rainbow colors to honor men that lust after other men's rear ends. <laughs> First president to put young children in danger by forcing states to allow men in women's restrooms and showers. That's disgusting. First president to marry a man. <laughs> First president to smoke crack cocaine in the White House. You know, this is what happens when the United States elects a real American, pre uh, Amer American to be the president of the United States of America as opposed to being the president of the world. From this moment on, we, have, uh, we all have to look uh, at, at how the media is treating a candidate to know if they will be good for we the people. If the media hates that person, chances are pretty high that we will love them. If the media tells us they will be a disaster for our nation, and they ridicule them day after day, as they did with President Trump, then we can rest assured that <laughs> they are the person we want and the one the nation so desperately needs. Absolutely. I have a feeling he is just getting started and we haven't seen anything yet. Make America great again. Please share if you're proud to support President Trump. Absolutely. <laughs> the last... Unbelievable. You know, it's mind-boggling when you think about this man. He... You know, you have to laugh to some degree, but it's very, very serious, actually, uh, how, we, how we got in. I mean, just the first one, I couldn't, like, just comprehend how, how he got in. I mean, how? I think it was a plot to get him in, you know? What a difference, and they can't stand Trump, right? The greatest thing that ever happened to America, that's what I say. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.